Okay, here we are, April uh, 5th, 2012, taking another sample of radiation from these uh, panels up here, and the antenna up here, and uh, Well, let's see if I can see it. I think I gotta move further back. But we'll go ahead and turn the meter on. See, it's very, it's pretty bad in this uh, part along here. Oh, no way. Go ahead and put it on max. Hit 8,000, 9,000, put it on max pulse, see if we get up to 10, 11,250, 12,000, 14,000, we're going to have 15, 16, alright. Okay, looks like we maxed out at 18,000, 22,000. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the audible. Let's take a walk back here so you can see the uh, other cell tower. It's on the back side of this building. Oh, can't see it too good. There's the, uh, some of the antennas sticking up from it. Put it back on scrolling. Let's take a walk over here. So much right here is he's pretty much right in the path with this uh, cell antenna. Scrolling, so these are pretty good. Uh, pretty high constant levels of radiation. Okay, so that's pretty annoying. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn this off. Um, as you can see, this parking lot is really has really high levels of microwave radiation, and as you can hear now, it's very quiet because nobody nobody can hear what's going through their bodies when the uh, when the meter isn't on. Okay, we're still going up here. But, there you have it. The problem that I can identify is these panels up here above the uh, liquor store, antenna over the barber shop, and let me run you around the back side of the building here.
third problem is this behemoth right here, right behind the building. Uh, let me go ahead and turn the... Now here's... The, if you thought it was bad out in the front parking lot, this is what we got just stepping around the corner of the building. Now this is way... I don't know if they're turning up the power on these cell towers, but this is way higher than it was several months ago when I took the initial uh, readings um, when I first started researching this stuff. But I've been finding it all over that the levels that I've measured before are now higher in the same areas. It'll be interesting to see if, if they're higher at the softball field too where all the young boys and girls play softball and baseball. Max Paul's 56,000. And scrolling levels into the 20s. It might even be worth taking new measurements inside the stores because in, these go through the walls and they're inside the stores. The levels are. Uh, it's also all the way down to the Albertsons, all through this park a lot. Um, maybe not to this degree, but I'll have to recheck that too because I have to check it. Like I said before, this is uh, this isn't scientific proof that uh, cell towers cause disease, that they make you sick. This is just scientific proof that these levels are here, that these levels are hundreds of thousands of times, some of these are hundreds of thousands of times higher than those in nature. I just took some measurements uh, up by Lake Henshaw, away from all this technology, and uh, the levels were 0.1. Uh, oft oftentimes I get like 0.3, sometimes up to 0.8, so I go with a uh, median of 0.5. And with a medium of 0.5, this is nearly 80,000 times the level that humankind has evolved, has grown with, has evolved with over millennia to be, their bodies just aren't, our bodies aren't accustomed to these levels. Now there's no denying that these levels are high. They're higher than what's natural. There's no denying that natural levels are what the body's used to. It's, the only question is, how much of this can a body take before it gets sick? And that is, that, that's how I understand why they have set no limits on how much radiation you can get. Because, or even worse, how much radiation you can expose a, a baby to, how, how much radiation you can expose a toddler to. An uh, eight-year-old, a uh, fourteen-year-old. There's no standards, so it's just a free-for-all to see what happens. Uh, keep it in mind. Uh, beware. Look into it for yourselves, and make a decision based on research, and uh, not by what the people who have a stake in making money off of this stuff have to say about it. Put a little more emphasis on what the people who aren't making any money have to say about the, the safety or the danger of microwave radiation in, in, uh, in our lives. Thank you.